15-year-old Hayes CISD student died from a suspected fentanyl overdose earlier this week. We start with this tough story. Thank you for being with us. I'm Britt Moreno. I'm Daniel Marine. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office says it's still waiting on the toxicology report to confirm their suspicions. But investigators say this continues a sad trend. Last year, the district lost six students to the deadly drug. KXN's Sarah Alshay has the story. Another young life in Hayes County lost, possibly at the hands of fentanyl. A juvenile was found deceased. It is suspected it could be a fentanyl poisoning. This time, a 15-year-old Hayes CISD student. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office is waiting for confirmation from the toxicology report. But still, Deputy Anthony Hippolito says they are no strangers to fentanyl poisonings. It's touching every portion of Hayes County. It doesn't matter where you're at. Um, it's killing us at a rapid rate. We're tired of having to see um, lifeless teenagers or lifeless adults because of a poisoning from fentanyl. Just last school year, six Hayes CISD students died from fentanyl. One of those students was Janelle Rodriguez's son, Noah. Since her son's death, she created the Forever 15 Project. Rodriguez, along with the sheriff's office, travel across Texas warning about the dangers of this lethal drug. We're still getting calls from all over the country. It, there's definitely a need for more presence presentations, more awareness. And she's taking this most recent death personally. I cried. I was angry, upset, just so many emotions. I've been out in the community doing so much, you know, talking to kids, spending time with kids. And it's like, what did I miss? With the school year in full swing, Rodriguez says she's motivated to continue her work, hoping to prevent one more chair from being left empty. Hayes County is where I'm from. This is my town, you know, and I, and I want to change what we're known for right now. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. In an email sent to parents earlier today, the district superintendent said he is heartbroken by this news and he said counselors and staff have been providing support services for the students, friends and their teachers. Going in depth on this tough topic, this year the governor signed three bills into law dealing with preventing more high school and college students from overdosing on fentanyl. One of those bills requires Texas colleges and universities to keep Narcan, the opioid overdose reversal agent, on campuses. Another new law requires public school districts to provide yearly instruction on fentanyl abuse and poisoning prevention. Lastly, October is now designated as Fentanyl Awareness Month.